Hey everybody, it's Dana Rico from the Creativity Cave and I have a really cute fun fold card for you today. It's really, really simple and it also kind of pairs some old and some new, so I'm kind of excited about that. I am showing two retiring stamp sets, the Life is Grand stamp set as well as the Oh So Eclectic. Now this stamp set and the coordinating dies are currently on sale, so you definitely want to snap them up. You can click link to my online store in the description. There's links to all the products I used as well as to my blog post that shows those more pictures of my projects, but they are such a good deal. So don't miss out. I also am featuring a brand new product from the upcoming catalog. This is an, oh, by the way, the framelits that match this stamp set are also um, on sale. So get those too. If you're going to get the stamp set, you should totally have the framelits. So this is also oh eclectic. And then these are the eclectic layers framelits. All right, but the new product I'm featuring are the, let's see, the layered, no, nested, no, stitched nested labels, final answer. <laughs> These are new framelits that are, or, or new dies that are coming in the new catalog. They are amazing. And these are going to start on June 4th. So I'm really excited about these. Oh my goodness, you guys, they're amazing. They come out of the die really easy, which I love. They just pop right out. Okay, so here is the full die. And then what I did is I just scored on it to use it to create my little flap. So I kind of love that little closure. And here's another example of that. And then we'll show you how I did this. Now, you don't have to actually put any adhesive but what I did was I just rolled up a glue dot right here and stuck it down just partially so it would look nice in my video closed but partially so it would keep you know my card closed and it's really easy to open and you don't have to worry about you know it it won't rip or anything so I rolled up that glue dot and then I kind of stuck my thumb on it a couple times to get some of the oils in my fingers on there and then that you can see that way it opens really easy Okay, so let me show you how to put this card together because it's really simple. I'm going to start with a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth whisper white panel. Then I'm going to have a five and a quarter by eight inch piece of Coastal Cabana, which I'll of course fold in half. And then my card base is actually a quarter sheet rather than my typical half sheet. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then of course my uh, label. So to put this together, first of all, we're going to open our card backwards. So I'm going to fold this card and then it's actually going to open this way instead of the usual way. We'll set that aside for right now because I'm going to do my stamping. All right, so to do the stamping, I have a fantastic color combination. I've got Blueberry Bushel, Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, and Mango Melody. Such bright, happy colors. And to stamp on this, I just need to bring in a little scrap paper because I'm going to go off the edge of my cardstock here. And, oh, for goodness sakes, there we go. Um, I'm going, what I love about the Oh So Eclectic stamp set, and, and one of the reasons I recommend this is because there's nothing similar coming to our catalog. But the reason I love this set so much is that, and here's my sample, is that it's really um, kind of got a watercolory feel, but it also has line art in it. It's got a few cute little sentiments. So it's really, it's a good set. Okay, so I'm just going to ink this up and you can see there's lighter and darker areas on there already, which I love. And that's one of the things that's great about this stamp set is it does have kind of that variation in color when you stamp it built into the stamp. So you don't have to come up with that on your own. It's really easy. Oops, I wanted to stamp that one more time. So I'm just going to stamp on my card a couple times in my Coastal Cabana, you know, my fave color. Then I'm going to go on to Blueberry Bushel 
and we'll add a couple more. Now you can overlap a little. I don't like overlapping too much just because we are going to stamp um, the detail over this and you don't want that overlapping a ton. All right, so that looks pretty good so far. Now at this point, sometimes what I like to do is add a few leaves. And the reason is so that I have enough room for everything in the end. And we'll add more leaves in a minute. But now to do this, I'm going to ink up kind of not the whole stem, just because I don't want that on there. And you'll see what I mean in a second. And the leaf is just the same. It's got this beautiful kind of watercolory look built into it, which I love. Okay, so look at that. So pretty. Maybe we'll put another right there. All right, now I'm going to add in my final flower color and let me just verify that I cleaned that one because we don't want a dirty stamp going into our mango melody okay so I'll stamp one up here you know what I'm going to add one more flower because it's my card and I can if I want to okay there we go I just had to <laughs> There's that flower down there, and then we'll just put a little, and I don't know why I stamped that off, I didn't mean to, put a little down there just to kind of finish it out. Okay, that looks fantastic. Um, maybe one more leaf up here, like so, nothing much. Now I'm gonna take the detail image for all these leaves and ink them right over the top, and then we'll do the same with the flowers, okay? And I suppose I probably should have stamped all of these off the leaves the first round, but you know what? It looks fine and I'm going with it. I love adding that texture on the leaves. I think it's just kind of fun and a little bit unique. We don't have anything that's quite like that. Um, and like I said, in our catalog anywhere. So isn't that texture fun? It just adds a nice touch. Next, I'm going to do my detail image. Okay, and this is really kind of easy to line up. There's kind of a flat side to the stamp or the flower, so we're just going to line it up like that. And one more down there. Clean in between. I'm cleaning on my stamp and chamois. This is really great. You just wet it down and then it cleans everything really well. And then when it gets too inky, then I just clean it with uh, water. I rinse it through. By the way, I rinse mine with both hot and cold water. I start with cold and then I rinse it out till it runs clear. And then I do it again in, in hot water. And for some reason, like different colors get released. Okay. So I just stamped right over the top of everything. Isn't that awesome? And if it's not lined up perfectly, it's okay. Don't worry about that. All right. Next up, I want to stamp my sentiment. Now I want to stamp it over as far as I can to this side. And I'm also going to um, do that first for positioning the score line. Okay, so I have my dear friend. And I have to show you this on my sample. I didn't ink up like the F. There we go. That was much better. Do you see how like the F isn't completely done you wouldn't have noticed it till I pointed it out but this one is better so that's good okay now what I'm gonna do is take my trimmer and just put this in here and then score I just want to make sure I'm not gonna score the um, the H in hello and I put a nice good score line in there okay and there's my label isn't that that's just so handy. Now, I liked using my trimmer for this so that I would get a nice straight um, line and it wouldn't be crooked, you know. Okay, so I'm going to burnish this really well with my bone folder. And then we're going to put our card together. Oh, I've, well, yeah, we'll put our card together. So first of all, I'll adhere this one to my Coastal Cabana layer. So remember this is five and a quarter by eight and then we folded it just like that okay and remember it's going to open the wrong way 
And then we also have this label. So I'm gonna put a little of adhesive on here. And then I want it, you can position it kind of wherever you want. I want it right about there. And then we're just gonna hold it on the back to make sure it adheres. Look at that. Okay, then we'll attach this whole thing. And then look, for those of you who go crazy, we're gonna cover that up. <laughs> I know you are out there. So it's gonna be all nice and clean, nothing, no pieces and parts showing that shouldn't. Okay, so we'll open this up. And then now I'm gonna take in our stamp set, there is a really pretty image. Or I shouldn't say a pretty image, it's just a sentiment. But um, first of all, I'm gonna take the little that detail leaf because I just love it and stamp it in there like that I stamped it off so it's a little lighter and then I'll take the sentiment that is in our isn't life grand or life is grand yeah it says sending lots of love your way and I know exactly who I'm sending this card to okay so isn't that cute? It kind of ties everything together. And there is our card. Now I chose not to embellish this any further, like adding ribbon or anything, just because I thought there's plenty going on here with this. Now I did one more because I just wasn't done with this yet. I had to, I just had to um, make one more. So I used the same stamp set, but I kind of, I wanted to die cut these pieces out. So using my framelits and uh, I chose a little, slightly different color scheme. This is crushed curry with some base or no that's smoky slate and then some black memento ink and then I used the little missing you from our stamp set to create this card and I just love it these little texture fun background pieces are in here and then you can see I spritzed it with my black marker at the very end and I've embellished this one with some copper metallic thread and a gold faceted gem I only used copper because I'm out of gold <laughs> but it still works, I think, just fine. So anyway, those are my two cards. I hope you loved them. If you want to snap up any of these amazing deals, there's a whole bunch of things that are on sale right now just for a couple more days. So make sure you grab those. And when you do, you'll become a Creativity Cave VIP. And I can't wait to welcome you to our awesome VIP Rewards program. Thanks so much for stamping with me today, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.